Well, hi, everybody. Well, my grandmother, Bessie, made very good spaghetti and meatballs. Well, my mom made good spaghetti and meatballs, too. And every, I would say about good once a week, Mama makes her wonderful spaghetti and meatballs. Folks, you gotta realize, everybody does their own meat, my own meatballs differently and spaghetti. They do it differently, they season it differently. So, my mom used to add in uh, Italian breadcrumbs. Here we go. Use about a cup and a half of uh, breadcrumbs. One egg. Yeah, there's nothing better than good old spaghetti and meatballs. Uh, my mom must have learned how to make them from grandma. But she has her own style of sauce, obviously. My mom also liked to use the sweet kind of spaghetti sauce. I don't know, it's always so sweet and delicious. Garlic powder. A little bit of oregano. Nothing better than salt, uh, uh, seasonings that go into your spaghetti uh, meat, the meatballs. Italian seasoning. Now, what I want to do now, folks, is we also, my mom, always liked to use thin spaghetti. Let me see if I can get some out so I can show you what it looks like. Here we go. Thin spaghetti. And mix this together. Now, everybody likes every different kind of meatballs. Some like it small. Some like large meatballs. My mom used to make it in the middle. I don't know why she always had a thing about making it in the middle. All right, and I'm going to start getting these meatballs out. Oh, I have to add a little, dash a little palm cheese in. Just a little bit of palm cheese. Here we go. Okay, we got it. Now, I'm going to start making my meatballs. See? I'm going to put it into a broiling pan because I want to bake these meatballs until they're nice and brown. Like once a week, we always had spaghetti meatballs. My mom used to have a salad with that. I'm trying to remember what else she used to make with it. All kinds of wonderful stuff, folks. Garlic bread. She was, that was another thing she made, garlic bread. Next time I make this, I'm going to make sure I, I make garlic bread for you, folks. It's really delicious and yummy. You want your meatballs to taste really good, folks. Really good. Yeah, this is what I always remember growing up. My mom was a homemaker. Th that's my job in a sense too, folks. I'm also a homemaker. I've always been a homemaker. I've always enjoyed being a homemaker. I like taking care of my house and everything. A homemaker cooks as well as bakes and does everything in the house. They run the house, obviously. Here we go. Here we go. Nice, delicious Italian meatballs. It's really going to be fantastic. Now, folks, if there's anything left tomorrow, which I'm hoping there is, nothing better than a delicious meatball sandwich. Almost done, folks. And what we're going to do is we're going to pop this in the oven after I put a little bit more seasoning on it. Here we go. One more. I like, I like them all different sizes. It's a good size meatball. Okay. Now, I'm going to put this over here. I'm going to grab some garlic powder. Let me see if I can tip this over a little bit. Here we go. I'm going to put some garlic powder in and put a little bit of oil in here. Also, you don't want them to stick. Here we go. Pop this in the oven and bake this for, I would say, a good 15, 20 minutes. Then we'll go to the next step. Okay. A few more minutes. Alright, now what were you saying? What were you saying? You have an infection in your bladder.
So what did she say about your problem? You have an infection. It's not really telling you anything, is it? even if I don't have a UTI, I definitely have the symptoms of one. And it's better to be safe than sorry. Yes. Because a UTI can I know by, all itself, about that. by itself is dangerous. I know. It's just annoying. But it can spread to other places where it can't. You don't want to go any other place. Yeah, I'm tired. She actually tested my kidneys to make sure it had not spread to them.
Look at that, it's so wide. I don't want to listen to the bitch. No, Debbie. You took that bitch, Debbie. Trying to get this way that I can figure it out. Sorry, up. All right, no talking. <laughs> 